Precious Metals. Your house, all August. Welcome to Treasure at Home with young Tassie scientist, Liam. We're going to begin with this program by looking at the coinage metals. Let's take a look at what those are. We begin with copper, the orange metal of Cyprus. Followed next by its silvery cousin, silver, mostly in jewellery. And then it's the big one. Let's see if we can find some real gold in your house. So grab your periodic table and let's get started by looking for some copper around about your house. Copper is largely involved in your national broadband network connection to bring you your internet. It's also involved in some pool cleaners, so if you're lucky enough to have a pool, there's probably a lot of copper in there. But one of the best places to find copper is think if you've got gas in your house or some kind of pipe, much like this one. You'll notice that it has the very distinctive orangey sort of metallic colour. That is a copper pipe. With copper located, let me take you through some of the silver I found at our place. When we're looking for the next metal, silver, we have to think a little bit about what silver can actually do. For most of us, the first thing that will come to your mind is jewellery. And while that is true, you might have sterling silver jewellery, which is the highest concentration of silver probably in your house. But it can actually do other things. Silver is really good at actually killing off bacteria. So you might find it in, not necessarily this one, but some deodorants can actually have it. You can look in the ingredients label on the back. But I think the coolest one is, is you'll actually find it in some shaving equipment. Because of course, there's obviously a lot of bacteria on your face. Um, if you're someone that shaves, you need silver in the blade to help reduce that bacteria. With silver out of the way, that means it's time for the big one. Where can we find some gold? And it might actually be easier than you think. If you find yourself doing quite a lot of this, then it might be closer than what you might expect. So not only are a lot of these metals very, very resistant to corrosion, but they also conduct quite a lot. And for the searching of gold, that's actually quite important to realise. Television. It's something that requires a lot of conductivity because it involves data flow. And a big clue that you might find behind your TV, don't pull any wires out or anything, is a TV antenna connection here, which, as you can see, has this really nice, shiny, yellow coating on it. That's actually gold. You also find other different like little adapters and things that also feature gold where there is not just conductivity, but transfer of information. Here's another one as well. You might have other computer parts or just pretty much any technology you might have around your house. Anything with a connector might have gold plating on it to improve that data flow through conductivity. So a lot of the gold that is actually in our house is kind of hidden away from us. But that doesn't mean that I can't show you. One of the best places to find it is hidden away in our technology. If you've got old phones lying around, that's a big one. Or maybe even old computers as well. Again, I must stress, don't go ripping it out looking for gold, but take my word for it. If you've got a laptop that maybe looks like this, you might not have actually seen what is at the heart of it before. And that's this little thing here. This is a central processing unit or CPU, the heart of the computer and of phones alike. And it's when we look on the back of one of these that that is actually where you find one of the purest sets of gold that can be in your house. If you take a look there, you'll see that it's that nice shiny yellow color and it's obviously still in its plastic protective casing. So there's quite a lot of gold in technology, which is why it is crucial to recycle your old items. So that was a little bit about the coinage metals. Did you find some? Did you manage to find some gold in your house? Well, if so, please stick around to watch some more Treasure at Home and other Young Tassie Scientist content.